Plaintiff Frank Simmons met the defendant when they were 13, and he loved her from the moment they met. Frank claims although they got married and had two children, the marriage didn't last, and he's suing his ex for unpaid loans and the value of a bed. Defendant Tuesday McDaniel Simmons admits that Frank pursued her, but claims he was also pursuing several other women. Tuesday claims from the time she married Frank, he was unfaithful, and Tuesday denies owing Frank for anything. Start with you. Well, first of all, let me say it's an honor to be in your courtroom, Judge Matthews. I admire you as a judge and as a man. Thank you. I know a lot of times when people reach a certain level of celebrity, they don't want to jeopardize that, and they don't speak out on certain social issues that don't directly affect them, but that hadn't been the case with you, so I applaud you. Thank you. Awesome. Appreciate that. <laughs> Uh, not well, just scared. To... I guess that's all I can say to that. <laughs> I'm not scared. A lot has happened to me over my life. Oh, that, sure. Uh, I, I'm not scared of anything these days. That's, that's, that's how it should be. Go ahead. So uh, tell well, me you about you little... your association uh, with this lady. We were 13 years old when we met. Okay. And uh, I loved her from the first day I saw her. You know, oh. come on. <laughs> but no, it's the truth. It's the truth. Um, she didn't love me, but... Uh... <laughs> No, for real, I chased, I chased for a long time, but we stayed friends over the years yeah. and I got my prize when we were 24, we got yeah. together. We dated for about eight years before we got married and we were married for eight and a half years and, you know, two kids came from that relationship and we split in February of 2011. I tried to save it, but she ain't want me no more. Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Uh, I'm not trying to paint her out to be the bad guy. I'm just saying what happened. <laughs> I'm just saying what happened. All right. Mm -hmm. Things, uh, they were going good there. I mean, sounds like you all did everything oh, right. Oh, it's been, it wasn't, it wasn't all right. No, I'm saying in terms of your um, uh, judgment yeah. as it relates to getting to know each other, eight yeah. years is a little long. Uh, two years is certainly a time enough to know each other and get married. You waited eight, okay. Maybe because you have to keep chasing this. So if you didn't have to chase you so much, it wouldn't have went. No, at, that point, me, at that point, I was running. He, 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 at yeah. that point, he was running. I could have got married in he was two. Running. He was running. Let this man drag you I out no eight running. years. I, was, I went four because me and Linda were in college. We had to get our degrees. I wasn't uh, mentally mature enough. But two months after Linda got a degree, I proposed. No, two months after she got a degree, we were married. Wow. Because it had been four years. I knew nice. everything about it. But we couldn't afford to get married until we got our degrees. And I had been out and in the workplace for two years. So we were able to afford it. So I didn't string her out just for fun like you. <laughs> Ain't that much college in the world unless you're a PhD. <laughs> Are you a doctor? A no, PhD sir. No, sir. or a lawyer? Yeah. No, sir. We didn't have to go eight years of college and avoid marrying because you weren't stable. You were stable and still wouldn't marry her. Not mentally. Why? And not mentally and emotionally. You were, mental, you were emotional enough to get in that sack every night. <laughs> Am I right or wrong? With me and other, several others. If you want to call well, it what it is, you want to tell a story. Anybody. How long did you string them out? <laughs> the others, the several others. Uh, Don't play crazy now. Two years is certainly a time enough to know each other and get married. You waited eight, okay. Maybe because you have to keep chasing this. So if you didn't have to chase you so much, it wouldn't have went. No, at, that point, me, so. at that point, I was running. He, he, at that point, he was running. Could have got married in two. <laughs> this mm -hmm. man dragged you I out in no, eight it. years. Defendant Tuesday McDaniel Simmons was married to the plaintiff, but she claims they divorced because he cheated on her multiple times with numerous women. Let me go to you, ma'am. We're going to get to the bottom of this. Well, he's right. Me, me and Frank met when we were 13. We, he was like my brother. He was everything. He actually introduced me to my daughter's father when we were in high school. Okay. We did everything. We were together. I thought that we were going to be together. And yes, he chased. But it wasn't just me. He was, he was running around but chasing a whole bunch at that point. So until you figure out what you want, then I'm going to keep running. So, but we got back together in 94. We got together. And from day one, my lovely ex-husband has been a cheater. And he has been cheating. 
and that's what he does. How many times you catch him? Oh, so, um, it's not it's too many to count, honestly. And I stayed, and I can't. I'm not here to bash him. I'm not here to say anything wrong about Frank. I stayed. He didn't do no more than I allowed him to do to me, because I loved him, mm -hmm. and I still love him. Will always love him. Just don't want nothing else to do with him. When did you come to that? Um, well, we actually separated in 2011. It was time for me to see a little bit more of myself okay. and stop going back and back and forth and find me something better. And that's what it was. At that point, I wasn't. I was a good. Did you find you something better? No, not at that point. It took me a long time. <laughs> no, no, I didn't find nothing better. I uh, ended up coming back to him. All right. I ended up, but like I said, right. we now did this. you stopped in eleven, came back. Came when? back in. We came back in two thousand and fourteen. Okay. I had a car accident in two thousand thirteen. Okay. And Frank called me. So and that's love. You all couldn't stay away from each other. Three years later, you came back. What yes. happened then? He was dealing with somebody. I was dealing with somebody. We ended up. I moved to North Carolina from New Jersey. Okay. From that, from day one of that, the person that he was dealing with has been a back and forth thing with me and her. Two thousand and fourteen. Yes. We moved to North Carolina in 2014. We were going back and forth. He said that he couldn't make up his mind between me and her after I moved so to North Carolina. So when did you all we didn't, finally? No, we finally made up our mind when I divorced him in 2015. Okay, so it only did. It, it the, kept going, and even after that, Your Honor. We were still sleeping together. We've been sleeping together the whole time. We didn't stop sleeping together until November of 2018. All right. So okay. again, again. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Again. I mean, because I want you to stop me at any point and feel like I'm lying to you. I will. Um, hmm. He can't make up his mind what he really wants. Oh, wow. He wants a wife, but he don't want a wife. He wants he someone did to be have there a when... wife. No, he really didn't. He had, he had yeah, somebody that, might make a that point kept because... his bed warm at night. He wants a wife. He wants somebody to be there with him, but uh, he don't want all the commitments. My bed the coldest and it... place this side Oh, yeah, because we was having holiday sex. I didn't care. Are you point. kidding me? <laughs> You're right. You're right. Are you kidding me? You're right. Keep my bed warm. You're right. Who wants to be with somebody who wants to sleep with everybody oh my all the God. time without besides their wife? You said stop you when you're lying. That's oh, well, all I have to say. I'm sorry, but his bed that might have been cold. Said you told him to stop you. You so did. He his has bed might have been cold at certain times. <laughs> all right. And why was suing uh, today? I came into a settlement, um, and she asked me to borrow some money, and I loaned her the money. Uh, Fifteen hundred dollars was the initial loan. A uh, couple of weeks later, she asked me to borrow $400. She needed some tires for a truck, and I know the tires cost about $100 a piece, so I loaned her the $400 with the promise of repayment. And, um, you know, I never got paid back. I would call and ask about it, and there would be nothing. Uh, now, this, this was after the marriage, obviously. This was, yeah, this was after we had been split for four years. The loan was made after the marriage. Four years after. You had been divorced. We hadn't been divorced yet. But we had we split in t in February of 2011. Okay. I was after, in North Carolina. After marriage means divorce by definition. Okay. All right. Not not <laughs> separated. What you're referring to is separated. Well, uh, I so mean, until you're divorced, all your assets are marital property, and it's hard to loan your own money to yourself. Uh-huh. Uh -oh. I don't see how. I, well, I mean, by by legal definition, I can't argue with the judge. What do you want me to go with? I can't. No, I mean. <laughs> Like I said, I can't argue well, with the judge. That's what you want me to go with. That's my role today. Exactly. I mean, I'm, and I'm not definition. gonna argue. I'm not gonna argue with it. But, <laughs> but there was a promise of repayment, and I. And, and Ma'am, was there a promise okay, no, to repay? No, sir, it wasn't. And it wasn't a loan. He came into some money when he got his lawsuit. I needed money. I was going back and forth. I just moved into a new apartment. I wanted money. He got money. Frank. Give me money. Frank gave me money. It wasn't that no, was not, I'm going to get, wait, uh-uh, uh-uh. Frank, uh -uh. give me money. Frank gave me money. Frank, that is not the way it went. Frank Simmons. Go you ahead. All right, I'm sorry. A, you the bottom line was it was not a loan, sir. It was not a loan. He gave me money. And yes, he gave Heard me money. Heard that part. Did you get a divorce decree yet? No, yeah, we're divorced. Was a loan. Yeah, we're divorced. All right, and did they do a property uh, settlement? No, we didn't. We didn't split any we property. Didn't we didn't have any property to split. How about debts? Did you split debts? Oh no. No. Okay. It was marital property, mm -hmm. and marital property isn't always fifty percent. Marital property can be divided as the judge sees fit. The judge can say, okay, you know, some man. That's what they like to do. Your Honor, I worked for twenty years, and she never worked, and so all of this, she shouldn't get any more than ten percent. 
Oh, that little work you did nine to five, she working nine to nine, dealing with the children, dealing with this house, dealing with your behind. <laughs> so, no 10%. I'll be very, I'll be very honest. I think Linda works harder than me, managing all of our assets in the household. I look at her and shake my head, son. She won't get an assistant. I keep trying to get her. I don't need no assistant. You must be doing wrong. You don't want nobody to know your business. <laughs> yeah. I got an assistant. <laughs> you want me to call her nobody and say, what's she doing? <laughs> So that's why marital property is not automatically uh, determined. It's determined by the judge. And this was marital property, and it should have been included in your divorce petition. You should have said, I want 1,900 judge uh, of the marital property because this was money she said she repaid me. Judge might say, okay, uh, I'll give you the 1,900. Or he might say, no, that 1,900 is... Uh, not going to be included in this judgment, but you didn't petition for a marital property division. I had never been in a do it, so I didn't know, but I guess that's... All right. Defendant Tuesday McDaniel Simmons was married to the plaintiff, but she claims they divorced because he cheated on her multiple times with numerous women. The bed, this cold bed or warm <laughs> bed. Oh. Which one was? You, you yeah, suing for the cold bed let's or the warm bed? Which this, one you want this, back? This, this bed was neutral. This wasn't uh, this neutral. wasn't uh, neutral. This wasn't our bed. <laughs> this one, not just our son's bed. <laughs> when and what happened, sir? Okay. It's after the divorce. Yes. Oh, right. after the when divorce. <laughs> um, I loaned her the bed, and I say loan because I had let her use it before. And she returned it. So the agreement was she was going to use the bed. Mm -hmm. So I came over one day and she wasn't using the bed. Her, her, her oldest son and, and his son's mother and the baby was in her room with that bed. I don't believe that was a condition of the uh, bed. Okay. That was, the yeah, bed. You, all, you actually stated that. You said, okay, I'll only let you use this bed if you're the only one that ever sleeps in it. <laughs> and should someone else <laughs> ever sleep in it... Oh, I never said I, all well, of that's that. That's what you'd have to say. But that was understood. The, I mean... How I was it understood? understood? Jesus. How do you give something or loan something to somebody and they loan it out to someone else? So if this had been your son, your nephew, your aunt, your uncle, your visiting parents from out of town, would you have prohibited them? Would you have said, Mama, no, you can't sleep in that bed <laughs> for whatever reason? No, you wouldn't. Now, that's Sad. no condition. You all should have divorced <laughs> before you start thinking that you owed each other. Folks stay separated for years and never get a divorce, and then boom, somebody comes up with some money. You all haven't even spoken to each other for four or five years, but you're still married. Legal definition. <laughs> and that legal definition means the wife or husband can show up when that money comes. Say, give me, uh, <laughs> <laughs> give me my portion. Give me my portion. What are you talking about? We ain't been together for four years. Whatever. Give me that. <laughs> You're not entitled to this. Let me get you the legal definition that Judge no, Matthews gave everything. me. <laughs> Claim dismissed. <laughs> Y'all yeah. have some good day. That's it doesn't matter. That's how bad she want to stay this away. Is, I know. That's why you dragged me all the way Barriers. to Chicago Barriers. to take me on court so I could talk to you, apparently, because your case was bull and nonsense to begin talk with. Talk to me. Just like you. <laughs>